Hello there! Tis the season to spend money and go on shopping sprees to build up your Star Wars action figure collection, right? Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 110, my Walmart Black Series buying spree, which also includes Lucasfilm's 50th anniversary Clone Wars figures. <laughs> A week ago, I saw a picture on one of those Facebook Star Wars collectors groups that featured a picture of an aisle display, you know, one of those cardboard displays of new Star Wars action figures that had just hit the Walmart aisles. And these were the Black Series action figures. I was not able to get to my local Walmart that day, December 1st, but I did head there after work on December 2nd, so one day later. I looked all around the store, in the toy department, in the, you could say music department where they also keep all the collector stuff. I looked around the closeout areas. I looked all over the place, center aisles and stuff. I could not find the display with these figures. Couldn't find them anywhere. I finally asked a few Walmart employees if they knew where these were. The first two I asked didn't have a clue. But the second person I asked knew of some people that might. So she brought me over to the people that I asked. Um, and I don't know if she was a manager or what, but she seemed to know what I was talking about and steered me in the right direction. She pointed me to go to an area of the store I would have never have looked on my own because I had no clue that they even used that in the winter time. But sure enough, I went in there and this area happened to be where the lawn and garden stuff was during the spring, summer, and fall. Sure enough, I walk in there, there are toys all over the place. It was like another toy department. And right smack in the middle of all this was the display I was looking for. All seven of the Black Series action figures were still there in that display. I was happy. My checkbook, maybe not quite so happy, but I was happy. Needless to say, Christmas came a little early this year to me, at least my portion of Christmas, what I buy myself. You know, everybody's gotta buy themselves something, usually, maybe. Am I the only one? I don't know. Anyway, I did, I bought them. My wallet took a little bit of a hit, but now I would like to show you which figures, which of those seven figures that I picked up. And from what I've seen from other pictures, it seems that this was a display strictly for Walmart. So these seven figures, I don't know if they were all exclusive to Walmart, but they were all part of this display that showed up at various Walmarts around the country. Here's what I have. By the way, three of these are 50th anniversary figures from Lucasfilm that feature the cartoon series of Clone Wars that was on the Cartoon Network. So now we got big figures instead of just the three and three quarters. Let me show you what I got. Okay, I'm going to start with the regular Black Series. Well, the first one I'm going to show you is not a regular Black Series, but seeing that we're in the holiday season, it's a good one to start with. And that would be the Walmart exclusive Scout Trooper. Now, this is the Scout Trooper that also has Grogu. Remember that in the, the TV series where the Scout Troopers, for, for a moment, they were in charge of Grogu? And they also proved that they were not very good shots, if I remember correctly. But if you look at this figure, it's actually a pretty good figure. It is pretty much based on the six six inch figure, the Black Series we all know and love. But as you can see, it is painted up very much in a holiday style. Grogu is now riding in a red basket, or red bag, you could almost say. The Clone Trooper, or Scout Trooper, is all decked out for the holidays. He's got the festive colors on, red helmet, green gloves. But if you look closely, he is also wearing an ugly sweater. But maybe this sweater is not quite so ugly because his sweater he's wearing over his armor features Grogu on the armor. So maybe this Clone Trooper is a very good friend of Grogu. Maybe not. What do you think of this one? 
At first, I wasn't going to collect these because I did collect a few last year and yeah, they were okay, but really, what's the purpose of them? Well, now that they're doing it again, that maybe it'd be fun just to get a couple more of them if I can find them. So, there we go. The Scout Trooper with Grogu. The other three now are part of just the regular Black Series figure. The first one is from Obi-Wan Kenobi. This would be number eight of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Happens to feature IJAK or I-J-A-K. IJAK is a robot, I guess you could say. He's a very good looking figure, really, when you sit down and think about it. Uh, one thing I don't like too well is that his elbows do not move, but that could be because of the little hydraulic gizmos he's got to make his elbows move, and I suppose if his elbows did move, you'd probably break those off. It does look like he does have some movability at the shoulders. Of course, his knees move, his uh, upper legs move, and of course his head moves. He does come with two pistols, so we got a double shooting droid here. We also have another one from the Obi-Wan series, and this happens to be the Purge Trooper, if you remember those. This features him with Phase 2 armor. So, better armor, you know. Got to have a little better armor for some of these Stormtroopers. And as you can see here, he's pretty well decked out nicely. Looking at the elbows, it doesn't look like his elbows bend either. I don't know, I always thought the Black Series had bendable elbows. So, this is a maybe a little disappointing. It's hard to tell for sure when it's in the pack. And as you know me, I don't really want to open them out of the pack. But he does come with one rifle, so very, very limited as far as accessories go. By the way, in case you're counting, this would be number seven of the Obi-Wan series, and this one is number eight of the Obi-Wan series. The fourth one of the Black Series regular box, if we want to call it that, would be the Imperial Clone Shock Trooper, which is from the Bad Batch series. And as we all know, next month, the Bad Batch Season 2 begins. I'm looking forward to that. I've watched the preview last night. Looks like it should be pretty good. But here we have the Imperial Clone Trooper. And, of course, what does he come with? Well, he comes with a big, long rifle and a pistol. So, two nice accessories there. And here again, it looks like his head moves, his upper legs move, his knees probably move. Can't quite tell again if his elbows move, but it does look like his wrists turn. Kind of a nice figure. This is number seven of the Bad Batch. If you remember a while back, I did a show of my Bad Batch characters. This one happened to be one of the ones I was missing, number seven. So I'm kind of glad to get that one in my collection now, which is kind of weird because I had those Bad Batch characters a while back and never saw this one in the store. So I don't know if Hasbro was waiting to send this one out with all the other ones or what was going on. Kind of weird that they skipped from what was it, number 6 to 10? At least I never found the ones in between. Well, I got one of the ones in between. So there we go. We've got those four figures, which you could say are the regular Black Series figures, at least the way they're boxed, is the regular ones. Let me put these off to the side because the next ones I want to show you are the 50th anniversary ones. And it okay, like I said, the next three figures are from the Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary 6-inch Black Series figures. They are on cards that are based off of the Clone Wars. Or I shouldn't say the Clone Wars, but the cap small capital Clone Wars TV series from Cartoon Network. They came out with three of them that I found. They seem to be the same three from all the pictures I've seen. But the first one is... Mac Windu. And as you can see from the cards, yes, the cards are almost identical from one to the other. And even the back of the cards do have the top half anyway, is the same as what they were back then. In fact, it's almost like they're even the same size. You think of how much of the back of the card they're filling up. How do the figures compare though? Well, this is a Black Series figure. It's a larger figure. It's a higher cost figure. It has more capabilities than the old figures did. For example, the little three and three quarter didn't have a whole lot of articulation at all. Very little articulation in this figure. 
If we look to the big one though, we can see it, uh, first of all, looks a little bit more like Mace Windu, so it's not based so much on the cartoon character as it is the real life Samuel Jackson. But we see he comes with the purple lightsaber. He has actually got a cloth robe on this particular figure. He uh, has his utility belt, if we want to call it that. And overall, not too bad. Um, I can't quite tell if he's bendable at the elbows, but it looks like his shoulders are bendable. Looks like his hands do turn. Overall, a very nice figure. But it is kind of neat to compare the two of them to see how much they, how much extra work they put in. So that is the first one, Mace Windu. Now, who is the second one? Well, we got a Jedi, so we better have some sort of clone trooper. And in this case, it is the Arc Trooper. And once again, the packaging is done nearly the same between the two. Well, this one's a little more different than what the other one was. But if we look on the back, we can see again that the back top, the top half anyway, is about the same between the two figures. Even though there's a lot more card on this one, a lot more cardboard than there is on that one. But how does the figure itself stand up? Well, once again, not a whole lot of articulation with the old one. But with the new one, we definitely can bend at the elbows and at the shoulders. We have knees bending. Uh, we have the upper legs at the hip. I would say the head turns too. This one's kind of nice because it does come with some nice accessories there. We have a pistol and a rifle, and there's even a pistol in his hand already. Actually, he's got a pistol in both hands, I just noticed. So those pistols must be removable so you can use the bigger pistol or the rifle. So four accessories with this one. If those, if those uh, pistols do come out of his hand, We've got four gun accessories with this character. Not bad at all, considering that the original one came with just two pistols. Two mid mid size, you could say. So who's the third one? Well, I think it's one we were all kind of hoping for a little bit if they were going to do this, and that would be General Grievous. And here again, the packaging is somewhat styled the same. The cartoon character scene on the front is pretty much the same thing. They did do a little different on the, on the cardboard background, you could say. But here again, if we look at the back, you can see that they did use pretty much the same cartoon character, the same writing. Now, with the old one here, this one was not very poseable at all. Grievous was pretty much stuck in the position he was there. But this new Grievous has got a lot of articulation. If we look at it a little closer, we can see, first of all, the thing that stood out for me is that he's got a cloth cape. So that cape is removable, so you can get serious about your uh, fighting sequences. He does come with four different lightsabers, which the uh, other, the little character only came with two. So we get a couple extra lightsabers with this one. Two greens, two blues. And it does look like he has a lot better articulation. Looks like we do have some bendability at the knees. We do have at the elbows, I believe. I'm sure his head turns. And it looks like up at the hip, we've got some movement. So a lot more movement with the Black Series Grievous than we did with this one, which is to be expected when you think about it. You've got the bigger figure. You're paying a lot more for it. So what do you expect? Now... The old figures, we determined, were being sold for $6.99 back in the early 2000s. How much are these new figures? Well, of course, they're bigger, so we know they're going to be more expensive there. But these are basically $28. $28 $28 a piece. For the price of one of these, I had three and a partial of the regular series figures or the vintage collection, if you want to call them that size. But there we go. Three very nice additions to the Black Series. Now, there was one other little thing I picked up. I just couldn't pass this up. It has none to do with the Black Series figures. But if you eat chips or Cheetos or whatever, you got to close up the bag somehow. Well, I found some Star Wars chip bag clips. So on these clips, do figure or do feature Characters and ships from the original Star Wars movie, A New Hope. So kind of nice for that. 
I, I just kind of liked them. They, they were very inexpensive. They were only like maybe four or five bucks for the batch of them. So that wasn't too bad. Not in greatest shape. They do have a little rip at the top, but I don't know. Might have to open these up and actually use them. Yeah, me actually open something up and use it. It does happen once in a while. Well, there we go. What do you think of all these? Do you Were you able to find them in the stores? Did you pick them up? Or were you an, eh, not really that interested in them? Well, I kind of like them. So I bought them. And there we have it. Thank you for joining me for this video. Don't forget to like this video. Share it with your friends. And you know what? Leave a comment. I enjoy reading the comment. And uh, to tell the truth, I get, I get a little banter back and forth with some people once in a while. It's kind of fun. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. At the time I'm making this video, we got 670 subscribers now. We're moving up. Still got a ways to go to hit that thousand mark. I don't know if I'll ever get there, but hey, we're moving forward. So, until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.